we're going to be taking some notes. You ready? It's still why Turn off. We're going to start out with some organization here. We're going to open up our books in Notability. If you go to the bottom right, you can pick a subject. Let's put in Anne Frank. And let's just go ahead and import that. And this way you'll be able to take some notes on it, um, highlight some things, and just be ready for uh, other types of notes coming up. Now for our notes, I have a Cornell note paper, kind of a blank one set up, so all you do is highlight that, edit it, I hit duplicate every time I need to make a new set there. And then I would hit edit again, and I would then highlight it and drag it to our folder. Remember, we're organizing the whole time, moving it back into Anne Frank there so it's all together. Open that up and just kind of change the name, make sure you title it whatever your book is, and then um, notes, so night, notes, I'm reading night, so it's going to be night, notes. Go ahead and open up your notes. We're going to start on our topic objective. We're focusing on theme slash central idea in the book. Night is the book that I'm reading, but you're going to have your own book. So uh, go ahead and copy that down, but put your own book in there. We're going to jump to the central question. What is the theme of whatever book that you're reading? Mine is night. So what is the theme of night? And, and now I think about it, there's more things that we're doing. We're also going to be citing evidence to support analysis that's good put that in your topics of objectives and then we have another essential question what evidence from the text can I find to support this analysis uh, go ahead and take a moment to copy those down that will be up there for a little bit theme slash central idea in the book slash citing evidence to support analysis questions what is the theme of not of whatever your book is and then what evidence from the text can I find to support this analysis One more thing we need to do to format our notes is we need to split them right down the middle. If you hold down, you can actually make a nice straight line. If you get close enough, you can connect them there. Do that straight down the middle. We're going to make a little T-chart, so make one across the top, too. The left side's going to be quotes. On the right side, it's going to be thoughts slash reactions. So basically what you're thinking about when you're looking at these quotes. And then you just jump back into your book and read, uh, find anything that stands out to you, maybe highlight it, circle some things, and then use that any of those moments, uh, write down the page number and directly quote it. Now here's a quick little uh, kind of an example of what you can do if you have a quote going across two paragraphs. You can see here I'm writing out the first paragraph, starts with the first quotation and I end the sentence. Now this is going to be the second paragraph. I didn't close the paragraph before, or the quotes before, and I start the quotes here. That's letting us know that this what I'm writing now is a part of the same quote from before, it's just a different paragraph. And then you finish up whatever it is that you're writing down, and then you end the quotes there. And on the right hand side, you just kind of add some of your thoughts. What do you think that quote means? And most importantly, how does it relate back to identifying that theme? And then we'll go ahead and make a nice little uh, line across the bottom so we can start a new thing. And you're basically going to keep going along this way, focusing on different things that stand out to you, adding your thoughts on the side there. And just remember to focus on what can relate back to theme, what can represent theme. Uh, you're thinking of things like characters, like plot or storyline, like setting, like tone, like style, anything that can represent theme in some way. You're going to quote it, and you're going to add your thoughts. That's it. We're done. Um, just make sure you're going through this process while you're reading. Uh, anytime you're reading your book, before school, during school, after school, make sure you're taking those notes because those are going to help you on uh, the in-class writing. They're going to help you on your discussion. If you have those materials, you're more prepared and you're more likely to do even better. So make sure you're taking lots of notes and being extra prepared. And really, it's just going to help you. So make it happen. Thanks for listening. Peace.